wishy washy on here. Look, slosh it on. There we go. Look, don't worry too much. Just we're going to be tipping this as well, so you know, just kind of whack it on. Let's go now into a little bit of um, alizarin. Oh, what a alizarin, which is a red. We'll have a bit of um, cerulean blue. So we'll have some of that. It's little sloshy. Ping it on, chuck it on there, look, washy washy, <laughs> browns, wishy sploshy that on. Look. Yeah, of course we do. Pink, look, chuck it. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. oh. yeah. Paint's grey just at the bottom. <laughs> do do do. Into under the wheels. Ping, ping, ping. Oh, getting all over my paint ones in here. Okay. Well, let's Get some start of those colours moving. Okay. Now we've got quite a nice limey green in that middle area there, so I'm actually going to lift a bit out, let that bleed up a touch more. I'm going to lift a bit of that colour out and I'm going to put some quite lighter colour in there while it's still wet. Use a different brush, a clean brush. So in here, around this window, it's actually limey. So I'm going to lift out some of this. <sighs> While it's nice and wet, I can do this really easily. Lift a bit of that out. Okay. And then up in here, we've got, I'm just going to lift out a little bit in, uh, actually they're all going to be dark, so that doesn't matter, they can stay. That's granulated quite nicely there. I might leave that, even though the colour's different. Yeah. So this, this kind of colour, so I'm yeah. going to start to pop in this, this um, area down here while it's still moist. So it's going to, it's going to bleed everywhere. I'm, I'm not too bothered about that. But I'm making sure that the colour is thick enough that um, when I put it on, Yellow. it doesn't um, cauliflower too much. Oh yeah, it's not bad. Okay, so that's that's all you need. Yeah. Um, coming all the way down there. I'm purposely trying to leave some patches as almost indicating where we've got the the flaking plaster work and the you know the kind of broken bits that are missing. Yeah, exactly. The bits of um, architecture that are kind of not looking as fresh as they might do I mean in this area again while it's still a little bit moist yeah no I've got to remember yeah so obviously there's moisture still in my paper now if your paper's dried out already then um you're not going to get these nice bleeds like I'm getting where it's going very soft get some guts down there we're going to have a bit of this blue anywhere else we could pop a bit in here uh, maybe we could have some, I don't know, I, there's not really anywhere much anywhere else, is there? There's a little bit on this over here, a few dots. Okay, that's fine for that, in places. Again, to add a bit more colour. Yes, I've got it here. So along the balcony there, we could put a bit, we can have a bit, you know, um, in some of these areas, yeah. just let those bleed and merge. Yeah. Okay, that's probably enough of those. Detail that up a teeny bit, just lifting out a little bit there. It's the cadmium red I was talking about. And again, I'm not going to go right to the edge. This is on dry, so the paper is dry, okay? So I'm not wetting the car. I'm just painting this straight onto the dry paper. So there's my line, and I'm coming underneath the line to allow the wash to bleed up. Just to the back, and all the way through. Again, around the wheel, over the wheel hub, up to the... Um, rear bumper, down the back, and there we go. 
okay so i've got a little bit of bleed creeping out but not too much but that's that's kind of what i wanted just a tiny little bit of the red creep out into the the um surrounding area but not so much that it it loses its shape so let's just pop a little bit more red in there uh paint's gray and into that i'm going to put some of my um Touching, bringing it in from the top, letting it run down. I'm going to change the colour up a little bit. I'm going to put some cerulean in that, some more cerulean. Ooh. Wiggle a bit of cerulean in there. Just a few little detail -y bits here and there. Oh, my brush is a bit dirty, never mind. I'm going to wet that and pop some dark colours in there. Bit of red. Take that right out of the picture, actually. Just soften the edge off there. No. Excuse me. A little bit of um, teeny bit of grey. Going to run this, leaving a gap of a gap of yellow. I don't want to um, take this right to the yellow. I want a little gap to suggest um, an edge, like the window frame, for example. Run that down there. Okay, and then we'll move to the window now that's underneath it. <clears throat> and so again, a few different, a few different colours in the window. It's very, very light. Going to run it underneath this balcony. So this is kind of a the underside of the balcony and let that window bleed into it. <coughs> Going to come up the side of this balcony here, just a little bit of grey. Okay. A few little um, windowy kind of architectural marks coming down there. texture within that yellower um, larger area of, of brickwork so just a few of those marks here and there just to break up the yellow and indicate some I don't want to paint every every brick but I want a little bit of variation in there Right, let's tilt the back this way a touch. Drop in the colour. And I'm leaving a little bit of variation in there so it, it, it has a bit more interest. I don't want it to be a flat, I don't want it to be necessarily a flat shape. <clears throat> Mop that up. And we'll let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll put the detail on that. Moving then across to the next big window, which is going to be this one. I've got another little figure here, so this is going to be a large shape, but I think to make it a bit more interesting and add a bit more variation, I might leave a lighter shape within the darker element. So I'm going to take some water again, and I'm going to wet the majority of the window, but the area that I don't wet will be the, the lighter shape that will be left. Is this the window over the balcony? This is the window, yeah, on the, so over the middle balcony. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to leave some little areas of dry, which obviously the paint will just run round. I'm going to go round my little, around my little figure. <clears throat> some blue, oops, stronger with that. Just 
So around my main, this is kind of going to be the main figure on this balcony. So I want to darken this all up quite strongly to get that head to show up a touch. Got a little hand on the balcony as well, so we'll just leave that there. This is where I'm going to put some pots of lavender. <laughs> some little, little, little pots or something would be lovely. Window to suggest a little bit of architecture, some some detail marks. Um, it kind of comes across. Link that with the this middle section, which is going to be um, leading into the wind, you know, the darker area of the painting. Coming down, edge of the wall, a little bit of variation in that. And put a bit of a bit of green in that one, I think. It's a bit of green in that one. Okay, just going to mop up some of these puddles. There we go. And then that runs, I'm going to run that underneath again into the balcony area. These are almost like the balustrades. It's a few little verticals really will just kind of add some structure to the larger washes that we've just put on. So I'm just going to run a little bit through here on the balcony. Using brown or we're using a it's all grey, right? It's sort of paints grey with a little bit of yellow ochre in it. It's, it's just kind of very pale. Um, yeah, pitch color really. It's not really anything. It's kind of a middle. It's 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 almost a warm grey. Yeah. It's just going, going so, low. And it's, it's pretty washy as well. And the reason for that is just so that I can start to just pick out some of my drawing with some lighter marks, and then I can actually detail that up afterwards and make it a bit stronger if I feel like it's in the right place. Right. Um, so we've got some like, I don't know, like wires or something going on there. There's an edge and some edging to the brickwork here. Get some of that in. We've got a balcony here and underside of that balcony is pretty dark. So I'm going to start to just block this in. Um, tilt that slightly towards me so I don't get so much glare. Okay, if it was on wet paper, then all of this would just bleed too much. Mm. Okay, and I want to control it now um, and start to pick out some of these architectural shapes, um, the larger, darker shapes that I'm seeing. And then on this right, so, sorry, far left hand side over here, where I don't have enough information in the reference, I'm just going to bleed it away. I'm just going to take a few lines and make it a bit abstract and just let it disappear on that left. And not worry about it too much. So I've got a, um, I don't know what that is there, it kind of comes down. And then my doorway, actually, the only bit of information we do have is this doorway coming down here. I'm running out of dark, so I'm just gonna mix up some more dark. So the brown and the, the brown and the gray together. Okay, so the dark actually comes. I'm gonna leave a little bit of the purple showing. So this is the opening of that first big door on the left hand side, which kind of comes round, up. Weak. Weak so let's just wash this away down here. 
So this is where left-handed and right-handed painting comes in quite handy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, we just kind of scrub that away over there. Coming in there. A bit more brown, I feel, and then warming up a touch more. So where are the, old, the bits that I'm leaving at the moment are, will, will possibly come a little bit darker once I bring that second wash on. So just indicate underneath there. There's a bit more detail through here. A bit darker there. So coming round. So we've actually got some, um, I think they must be like, I don't know what they are, look a bit elaborate sort of shapes in there. So I'm just going to break through coming up and then up into this area. And then it kind of washes out a bit. I wash, I'm going to put more water in that same gray wash so it's lighter. So not really putting water into the, into the wash itself and just washing out the brush and then manipulating that paint up. Oh, no, that is Caleb. Mm. So take that a little bit higher on that side. And then I'll pull that into, I've put two windows here. So I'm going to put another window here. Let's just pop that in. And then I've got another window here. I'm going to drop that in. And again, this is all still on dry, dry paper. So two windows there. And then we've got some little detaily bits. I'm going to just bring that same grey. Oh. Just to break up that balcony. Oh, it's a balcony. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to mop some of that up because it's pooling a little bit. And before this dries, I'm going to just drop in a few other colours. So the first colour is. Cerulean. I'm going to take some neat cerulean and just pop some of that in different places just to add a bit more interest in these windows. A little bit in there. I'm totally lost. Okay. Just different shapes within that larger shape. <coughs> And we're not really too bothered about what they are. They're just kind of things going on there. Yeah. Take some fairly neat, neat brown here as well to again break up this this um, area. While it's still moist. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A bit more blue, I feel. Up here, slightly darker blue. I'm going to use cobalt blue here. mop up that and that and then before that dries I'm going to take some um, quite strong limey green again pretty neat Ooh. put some of that yellow that nice strong yellow in it and I'm going to pop some of that on the edge of these windows just to give the impression that maybe there's a bit of foliage or yeah. at the top of the door I should say. Put that in. 
And then I'm going to put some more um, lighter orangey browns. So a bit of ochre into that as well. And then this main door down here is actually a lot, lot lighter. So I'm putting some more water in there. And then this is on dry paper. So, and you can see the difference between the two washes. That one's a lot softer. This one's a lot harder. Mm. Take some water. And I'm just going to wash that, wash that wash down. Not adding more paint, just adding it using water. That window that you've put at the top there, Stuart, you're going to put some detail into it afterwards, are you? Yeah, we're going to do the same thing as we did up, or we're going to do okay. up in that one. So we're going to use the darker colours to detail the window up, which I'll do up there in a second. Yeah, yeah. Just to show you how that kind of works. I'm going to bring that down all the way down into my car. Create the illusion that that carries on down the bottom there. Put a teeny bit there. <clears throat> There we go. Just mop that up. And then my main door is actually very dark, isn't it? So I will do this in, um, I feel like I want to do this a bit bluer. I'm going to use ultramarine. Coming down all the way to the, <clears throat> the bonnet of the car. And maybe we'll have this little, have a bit of orangey, yellowy orange. Like a golden, maybe it's got like a cold, a bit of a goldy kind of crest at the top there. And that'll just bleed down. I'm going to just drop that flatter so it doesn't bleed oh, too. Oh, blimey, blimey. So let's mop that up. Tidy that edge up. So now let's get the start to get some darks into those windows. For that, I'm going to use the let's go with the ultramarine again to start off with. Ooh. And a bit of Payne's Grey to darken it. Oh, so Payne's Grey, sorry, ultramarine and Payne's Grey is this colour that I'm putting on now. And again, it's on dry paper. Well, fairly dry paper. It's still got a bit of. I'm trying to remember to keep the spaces. So we've got another one there. So this is actually a very good exercise in brush control. Yeah. And. Um, I haven't got any. <laughs> trying to you know just paint little shapes really you know the exercises i showed you before this is almost akin to that um because <clears throat> then that it, that it almost indicates that there might be some reflection or lighter color windows or or something of that of that um kind of thing going on so there we go so just to indicate that window carry on up there then we'll take the same colour and I'll do, actually that needs drying off. I'm just going to give a quick blast of the hair dryer. <laughs> so in here I've got a number of little windows. These ones are smaller. So just some small darks in here. A couple more there. Just have to remember to not paint over the brown, all the brown, otherwise you'll end up with no window frame. The illusion comes by leaving uh, the, the, the spaces between these little shapes. Mm. If you don't leave the spaces, you'll break the illusion that there's a, there's a wooden frame around, the, um, around these darker shapes. Okay. Then, let's wash my brush out. Now on this window, um, maybe we'll make it a white window. I don't know. That's just a bit of variation. We're going to put some put some of the ready brown back into that 
bluey grey mix and detail up these little shapes. Again, I'm not going to put everyone in. And then down here we've got lots of So I'm trying to make it so that the, the white of the paper then becomes the frame. <clears throat> That'll do that for the moment. Now let's move on to the car again. Taking a very dark, ready. So I'm going to take some of the cadmium red again, which I used for the body of the car and some of the ultramarine to purple it up. So this is ultramarine and the cab uh, uh, French ultramarine, sorry, the French ultramarine and cadmium red is the color I'm putting on now. And it's onto dry paper so that I can detail up the inside of my car, which is the underside of the um, bonnet, uh, sorry, the roof line which is kind of showing up. We're looking at the car slightly from the, um, the, the lower level. So let's just make this whole window dark. Oops, the window's dark. I don't know, I can't see him. Okay. Little band there. And then I can start to actually put in the shadow under the car. Now for the shadow under the car, I want to watch the, the edge here. So I'm going to actually wet first the pavement with water around the edge of the shadow with the intention that once the paint hits that edge, it will, um, it will just bleed into it. And I'm gonna pop that underneath my car. And I can take that into the wheels. So the, the whole shape is dark, so I don't need to leave a gap and now when it hits that edge, it should just start to bleed into it mm -hmm. and give you a nice soft edge. So I'm going to take that all the way around this wheel, cross the top there, just making sure that stays reasonably round. Take that up into the bumper. So then that will bleed out over there. Coming across again into this wheel, take it up a bit darker there, I think. Just popping in a, some of these warmer colours, so a bit of red, bit of brown into the shadow. <clears throat> wash this back edge out a little bit. <clears throat> and then I'm going to just take a damp brush now and then run that around my wheel, inner part of the wheel, just to soften off that hard edge. <clears throat> Okay, and then I just need to bleed that away there before it dries. A bit more colour, I think, on that front edge, a bit more blue. Just 
put in a little bit more blue just at the bottom of the wheel. Tilt that down a bit. Okay, now. So the doorway, uh, this bit of wall here needs a bit more colour in it, a bit more tone. Taking a grey again, a warm grey. Still with plenty of plenty of water in it. Just going to put some of this grey over the top of some of these colours. Maybe a little bit of shadow underneath the window ledge here. Again, we've got some there with a limey grey. Plenty of water in it. <laughs> Gonna start to put some shapes round this window. and some little brick marks. Few on this side. That's great, George. And then we need some more darks now into here. There's still some more gray. Just to get the underside of these cornices in. <coughs> kind of like little triangles with the tops chopped off, is the way that I'm thinking about them. Mm. We've got another one, another one here. And then the little bit more ochre grey, so touch more yellow into that on the front edge of this balcony. And sort of broken pieces that bleed in there. Mm. A bit more, perhaps through here. So it's just random bright bits of colour, really, to just. Mm get some, um, some colour back into the painting. Particularly in this foreground area because it's quite, it's quite, um, I want a bit more strength. So now I'm going to take some very neat red. It's almost out of the tube red. And I'm going to pop some of that onto my car to strengthen this up. Almost doing it dry brush style really. Get some of that in. Uh, we could put a bit of this around the wheel hub, front of the car, under the door we can sort of show where the, um, the door opening is, Get that in. all the way across there. Might just give that a little 